Okay guys, welcome. So this is an unboxing video. It's the unboxing video of the Lark X-Book. Um, 2240 pixel times 1414 inch display. Powered by a super duper fast Intel Celeron N5100. And Frequency 1.51 GHz till 2.8 GHz 4 core. Okay, well, so let's see how it's packaged. It's written white, black, golden, gray, other. And it's probably the hard disk. It's um, 50, 64, 128, 280, 256, I think, 512, 1 terabyte. So these are the pads because um, it's delivered with the American keyboard. So, yeah, so these pads, they shall be a kind of um, replacement. We will see how to put them. They're actually my biggest worry, one of my biggest worries. So let's see what we can do with this knife and the carton. I will be right back. Um, so that's how the shoey looks like. What's in the box? Um, yeah, paper, carton. That's the transformator. It's a proprietary standard, so it's not a USB-C, as you can see. It looks like, um, yeah, it looks very small. How much wattage does it have? Let's see. Oh my god, I think I need reading glasses. 24 watts. Okay. Wow, well, it's not so much. So these are the flimsy things. So... Oh god, they are like really, really, they're already sticking together. So, yeah, we have to check out which one is my language, I mean Germany. Okay. So that's the um, the notebook. It looks cool, actually. So from the outside, it looks really nice. As you can see, um, it's completely metal. Oh no, this is plastic, but the top is metal. Uh, I think that's the, not the memory. The memory is not extendable, but that's the hard disk. You can change it. So I could put the 512 later. You can't change the eight gigabyte memory RAM. It has no ventilation, so it cools itself. That's cool as well. Here's a SD slot. Later on, we will, by the way, cut this video with this uh, notebook. If it doesn't work, then it goes back to Amazon. And my friend was right because when I bought it, a friend of mine said it's crap because of um, the processor, the Celeron. But we will see what Celerons of today can do. Uh, of today can do. Sorry, it's a bit late. Okay, so that's the um, the notebook keyboard. Looks okay. Let's see if it starts up already or not. It should be a touch screen actually. It does. Should we? Immediately? Uh, it's, it's glossy, so I see every reflection. It's okay. So, it's starting. Okay, the first boot up, so we should be a bit merciful, actually. Okay, what I can say is the screen looks really nice. There's nothing you can say right now about screen key here the corners are a bit dark but hey it's coming from the cold okay i will do some first steps and i will connect also to the charger uh, to the grid because i don't know how much juice is left on the battery it came more the long way from china here we have the nice intel celeron logo yes high tech at its best all right so i will be back later ah. Now I can. Okay, video works again. All right, uh, so what are we going to do with this little small laptop? We're going to torture it with um, DaVinci Resolve. Of course, I want to do video card, isn't it? So we need to install DaVinci. Let's see how long. I, I unpacked it already. It's not so big. It's only 2.6 gigabyte. Well, let's see how long it needs to start. 
de Da Vinci. So the display is really, really nice. It's also touch screen and the colors are really cool. From that what I could see now. So we are going to Watch it. Okay, well, as we can see, it's already taking quite some time. I didn't thought that it would take that long, actually. Okay, but it's written there, it's taking some time, so that's what it does, isn't it? Taking some time. Hmm. Okay, okay, so that's a cool thing. We can use the screen and use it like a phone, actually, which I really like. But we we'll see if that's reason enough to keep it because it needs to be also able to do some simple basic cutting. And um, okay, I think it's not going to stay. We'll see how it performs with video cutting later, but um, I think it's a bit slow. It behaves a bit like my old notebook, which I had for IBM, this Lenovo ThinkPad. Mm, but, um, well, that wasn't a touch screen, but I think it was an i5 from 2000. 2000. 14 or 15 and this is I think even slower but I'm not sure hmm. so let's see how it behaves with surfing meanwhile we don't have to stare there all the time uh, let's see let's go to check news dot google let's see this one okay why do i have to okay always agree 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 okay now it's connecting that's not the fault of the laptop hmm. Okay, but it's going fluently. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, did it finish? It finished. What is the end time? I thought I installed already. Boah, is this? <sighs> okay, I think we can. Maybe I, I'm even thinking of stopping this whole thing now and just. Okay, installation complete. So now it should be actually somewhere here. It doesn't want to start. No, it starts. I thought it's what's new, continue. Okay, I was uh, typing. Oh God, what? I was typing a bit on the keyboard. It's a bit weird with this uh, kind of um, these kind of, of layers here, which you put on top. Um, it feels a bit like as if you are if you have a carpet and you're typing on a carpet. Um, I think you can get used to, if you want to get used to, that's another thing. So what, didn't it start? It was supposed to start. Yeah, this this thing here, this trackpad is okay. It's plastic here. Okay, it was still starting. Uh, uh, okay, here it works. But I think I am going to send it back because for me, the screen is even too small, 14. Um, I think this is not such a perfect, I think it should be bigger for me. It's always only for me because uh, for me, it's too small, too flimsy, and maybe I'm getting too old, my eyes too bad. But um, let's see how the colors are when you, when you open the YouTube video, actually, because I think that's, that's maybe more the area what you use it for or you should use it for so we're starting up chrome now uh, youtube.com yeah i know it's going to be a long video but i just want you guys to see how it performs with a much more, well, let's say, a program which needs a lot of resources like DaVinci, so this was not really a good idea, I guess. But Chinese lottery. Oh, okay, it's loud. So the sound is okay. I think it's surprisingly loud and not so bad. So I want to have it in full screen. I don't want to go. It goes. Yeah, the screen is wonderful. I really like the screen, I have to tell you guys. It's really nice. Uh. 
but it's shaking a bit the video so i'm not sure if that's the video which could be also or if it's the processor which is not fast enough let's take some let's get some music i guess relax chilling music oh, nice If there's no shaking in here, uh, now it shakes again. Okay, so for me, this processor is really too slow for everything. Um, it's too slow for watching videos. Maybe if you if you if you have everything else closed and you start up fresh, maybe then it's working. But for me, this is it's not a laptop which I would now use for anything else than writing maybe text or. Let's see. Let's see how slow this all. Lots already, it's uh, very slow. I don't want to be unfair here, you know. I was really looking forward to getting this thing. Um, well, they are all only music now. But you see, when I when I'm using, let's say, okay, I tried to use it now with this with this trackpad here, okay, but now I want to use it with my finger because maybe it's the trackpad that is so slow, so maybe it's faster, but not really, huh? So when we go now, let's search for something. You see how, how often I type here and nothing is happening? No. Now it happens. It's like a, a huge delay. It's like... Oh, it's bad. Okay, guys, I can't continue because this laptop is just too bad. So what we're going to do now, we're deinstalling this DaVinci Resolve again. So that the next user... I don't know what they're going to do with it. If they're going to... Um, I re erase it, I sent it back. Uh, it's The screen is super, the rest is bad. Let's put it short. Uh, and I think, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a problem. Okay, I will do it. Oh, yes, it's the install. Yes, I want to do it. So you can use it. Oops, sorry. Well, so what what is this laptop actually for? You can use it for uh, some getting some news, editing some texts, uh, maybe also editing some pictures. I could imagine uh, videos. No, mm -mm. Um, but even when you go on YouTube, let's say where is it here? For example, here this one I have I bought it recently. Also, it's a little small Chromebook from HP it was uh, 74 euros which is 80 dollars 85 dollars well it's faster YouTube with that one than with this one here for 400 euros so that's the price it was 400 euros it was pretty cheap so you can't really complain about the price but unfortunately it's not for me I can't use it but maybe you have a kind of um, Maybe someone can use it who wants just to edit text, as I said, or light web browsing, light web browsing, not 20 uh, pages open and stuff like that. The keyboard is nice, especially if you don't need these carpets. So let's take the carpet off. Yeah, you can take the carpet off. So under the carpet, you have the real keyboard, which is lovely. Uh, I think it's nice. It has a good um, haptic. Um, so overall this experience from outside it looks just fantastic uh the quality is solid it's nice quality there's nothing i can complain um the screen color is also very nice um it's, that was actually the argument for buying it or the reason for buying it i also like actually this <laughs> kind of uh, i think it's four to three like old tv um screen this um window it's more square so it's easier it's better for surfing for working with it basically so um but it 
it, it's coming to an end quickly. It's like a very, um, very slow. Yeah, so that's was it. What's the connections? You have an SD card, you have an audio jack, you have a USB 3, I think, and you have a USB C on this side. You have the charger. Um, there is a little icon which shows you that it's charging here. Um, Ah, Stadia, I wanted to test. Yeah, let's test Stadia on it. Okay, I will be back. So that's now Stadia running um, via the integrated browser from Microsoft. Um, I think it's the Edge browser because I deinstalled Chrome already. Uh, it was loading pretty quickly, this one. So let's see if Stadia starts up with the game. The Pad is already connected. Uh, that works, by the way, with the Chromebook as well. Okay, also das scheint zu laufen. Ich gucke mir jetzt gleich nochmal an, ob das auch fließend äh, vom Gameplay läuft, aber sollte es ja eigentlich. Ich meine, wenn der Stream hier durchkommt, ganz normal, dann sollte es auch möglich sein, sich da jetzt flüssig zu bewegen oder zu drehen. Ja, das geht ganz reibungslos hier. Ja, und das ist halt auch das Schöne daran, also der Bildschirm kommt schön rüber, es macht jetzt schon Spaß, hier mit zu spielen. Äh, das sehe ich jetzt schon, ähm, weil die Grafik halt wirklich schön ist. So, okay, mit einer Hand ist das natürlich ein bisschen all, aber gut. So. Also die Kontraste sind auf jeden Fall super. Gut, aber... Es ist halt leider nicht nur ein Display, was den das Laptop ausmacht und ähm, was ist das hier? Ein komische Deck ist eingeknickt. Okay. Ja, gut. Also Leute, geht zurück. Schade. Wir haben jetzt mehr erhofft. Ich dachte jetzt zwar nicht, dass der jetzt eine Rennmaschine hier wird. Ähm, das hätte ich jetzt gar nicht gedacht und war auch gar nicht Ziel der Übung, aber dass der jetzt so ähm, sich so lausig macht, hätte ich jetzt auch nicht gedacht. Okay, schon allein das Extrahieren von der ZIP-Datei hat ewig gedauert, da wart ihr nicht dabei. Das hat sich wieder erspart. Ja, so ungefähr wie wirklich wie einer von 2015, aber Cyberpunk 2077 auf dem 2015 Rechner. Na gut. Okay, also tschüss.